Okay, well, are you two ready? All right, I think so. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Well, hello and welcome, everyone. My name is Tracy, and it's my privilege to officiate today at the Union of, and I'm going to be trying so hard to get your names right, Thanks. and Deanna. Yeah. Today, as the world pauses to acknowledge the leap year, we celebrate your love story, a journey that has led you to this momentous occasion. Love, like the leap year, comes but once in a while, and when it does, it brings promises of something quite remarkable. Today, we stand witness to the joining of two hearts on a day that symbolizes the leap that you, Luis, and Deanna are making and taking into a lifetime of love and commitment. So Deanna, you told me that you initially asked Louis to be your boyfriend on February 29th, four years ago? Yeah. <laughs> Very Cindy Hawkins of you. <laughs> so getting married today is uh, certainly the ultimate celebration and a way to certainly remember your anniversary. So that doesn't mean you give her gifts every four years, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure she'll remind you. <laughs> So we are delighted for the life that you're creating together, you've discovered each other, and have made the conscious decision to commit to share the rest of your lives together. What we are celebrating today, though, is not the beginning of a marriage, but it's more like, I like to call it a marriage in progress. The symbol, ceremony is a symbol of how far you've already come together, and all the, a symbol of all the promises that you will continue to make to each other in your lives together. Author Richard Bach describes finding love in your soulmate this way. He says, a soulmate is someone who has locks that fit our keys and keys to fit our locks. When we feel safe enough to open the locks, our truest selves step out and we can be completely honest and wholly who we are. We can be loved for who we are and not for who we're pretending to be. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person, we're safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings, our sense of direction. And when we're two balloons, and together our direction is up, chances are that we found the right person. So this day is made possible not only because of your love for one another, but through the grace and support of the wider community who have come here to support you today, and I'm sure that your community is much broader and extends much further than this as well. I like to think of this community as kind of being like the fabric of your lives, and they're all, everybody's sort of stitched together and creates this really strong foundation for uh, your, a marriage, your strong marriage ahead. So to the witnesses here, I know Elise and Deanna are very grateful for your presence and now ask for your blessing and encouragement and support for this decision of theirs to be made. So Deanna and Luis, as you stand here today, committing yourselves to one another for life, know that you're continuing a journey that will be filled with laughter and love and some extraordinary moments and likely a little bit of insanity. <laughs> Embrace the chaos and the craziness and remember to never take yourselves too seriously because take it from me, life goes by very, very fast. It's way too short to be anything but happy and in love. I see some nodding heads. It goes way too fast. So may you be overjoyed by the promises you're about to make and the life together that you will create. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joys, but today is the day that it all begins. And so with that, we are gathered here today for the formal joining of Luis and Deanna in the legal state of matrimony under the authority given and provided by the province of British Columbia. Therefore, I require you both in the presence of all these witnesses that if either of you know of any lawful impediment to being married, that you reveal that now. So I will start with you. Just repeat after me, please. I solemnly declare. I solemnly declare that I do not know. That I do not know of any lawful impediment. On of any lawful impediment. Why I, Luis Eduardo Fernandez Basuto. Of why I, Luis Eduardo Fernandez Basuto. May not be joined in matrimony. <laughs> may not be joined in matrimony. To Diana Isabel Torres Goni. To Diana Isabel Torres Goni. Sounds way better when you say it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Deanna, your turn. Please repeat after me. I solemnly declare. I solemnly declare that I do not know. That I do not know of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Deanna Isabel Torres Goni. Why I, Deanna Isabel Torres Goni. 
Mm -hmm. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Luis Eduardo Hernandez Pesuto. To Luis Eduardo Hernandez Pesuto. Okay. And I'm sure, I'm going to assume it's cool with everybody here. So as you look at one another, remember what brought you here, your love, yes, but also all the decisions you've made along the way to keep your love alive and growing. And you're going to share a few words here today that will transform your lives. But of course, it's not the words themselves that hold the power. It's the intentions behind them that give them the power. So with that in mind, I'd just like to ask you to confirm your intentions to marry. Do you both promise to continue to deepen your understanding of one another, treating your partner with kindness and compassion and respect, and welcoming each new chapter of your life together with a spirit of curiosity and patience? And if so, I just invite you to say, I do. I do. I do. Okay. So you two, we are at the heart of your ceremony. Join hands and we will do your marriage vows. <laughs> <laughs> This is the part. Oh dear. We're good. Take your time. This is your wedding. Just take your time. All right. This is the part, though, where everything shifts. On one level, of course, you'll walk away from this ceremony, and nothing will have changed. Still, still the same love. Still the same commitment. Still the same life you've been so beautifully creating together for the last four years. And on another level, something will be profoundly different. Rather than just a couple in love, you will be have made official vows and promises to one another in front of these witnesses in sacred trust. So, are you ready to give your consent in marriage? Yes. Okay, I'll start with you, Luis. I call on those present. I call on those present. To witness that I, Luis Eduardo Hernandez Basuto, to witness that I, Luis Eduardo Hernández Basulto, take Diana Isabel Torres Goñi, take Diana Isabel Torres Goñi, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, in whatever experience, in whatever experience that life may hold for us, that life may hold for us. Diana, I call on those present. I call on those present to witness that I, Diana Isabel Torres Goni, to witness that I, Diana Isabel Torres Goni, take Luis Eduardo Hernandez Basulto, take Luis Eduardo Hernandez Basulto, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, in whatever experience, in whatever experience that life may hold for us, that life may hold for us. And you two, with those words, you've turned away from yesterday's and you're facing now all your tomorrows, all your money on us. So keep holding hands and I want to remind you that you're never too old to hold hands, okay? I want you to remember that when you're like 80. Okay. So you two, you've made a pledge to one another to be true and faithful and loving in front of these witnesses. And may you continue to give and be able to forgive and experience more and more joy with each passing day and each passing year. And just before I pronounce you legally married, I'd just like to leave you with this very short poem that's written by a poet named Bo Kaplan, and it's called Buried Light, and it goes like this. Home is not where you are from, it's where you belong. Some of us travel the whole world to find it, and others find it in a person. So may your dreams and love continue to grow and thrive in the years to come, and may you always find, feel that what you two have found in each other is enough. And now, upon the authority vested in me by the province of British Columbia, it's my honor to pronounce your lawfully wedded husband and wife. Would you like to kiss? <laughs>